What's up, beautiful people? So I'm in Bonaire at the moment. And I've just been coaching two guys, having such a good time. These two guys hit me up and they were like, Mike, we want to go kiting with you somewhere and we want to get some insane progression. I was in Egypt for like three days, wind wasn't looking good and I was like, change plans, let's go to Bonaire. So we planned the trip out and we made it happen. I'm going to take you out for a session on my 13.5 XR7. It's a freshie, going to crack her open now. And of course, I'm back kiting, knees, ankles, feeling pretty good, getting there. So every now and then I get these emails from guys saying, Mike, I want to book you for coaching and I want to go on a trip. I want to do way more of this because it's super fun. So if you want to book me for coaching, you can just head over to my website at howwithmike.com and you can request the trip. You can let me know where you want to go kiting or just let me pick the destination. We'll bomb out there together, have a super good time and get some of that insane progression. Meow. Get highwithmike.com. So I'm on a kite safari right now in Egypt, but I want to give you a little bit of info about the beautiful Dutch island in the Dutch Caribbean that is Bonaire. All right, so first of all, how windy is it? Well, I'd say it's windy almost every day in season. If you check the forecast, it's windy like 20 knots pretty much every day. So when we were there, we got wind every single day. I was riding on my 10 XR7 most days. And on the last day, which you've seen, I was on my 13.5. Now, if I lived there, I would probably have a 10, 12, and 13.5 XR7 quiver. But if you're more of a beginner rider or you like riding with a bit less power, you might want to consider something like an 8, 10, 12 quiver. I wouldn't say it's, it's really a great looping spot. There were some guys pulling loops on 9s and 10s, but they're not really big power loops. It's kind of like those loops that only just catch you and it can be done, but rather go there to do some old school, practice some uh, some jumps, you know, just don't do big mega loops there. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So what's the kiting like? Well, there's only one kite spot because the whole island is very protected and there's a lot of conservation going on, which makes for a super beautiful, pristine place. But obviously only one kite spot and there's two kite schools operating at the spot. It's offshore wind. And I'd say it's semi-flat. It's a little bit flatter, closer towards the shore, but it gets a little bit choppier as you go further out. And obviously it being an offshore spot, you wanna know, is there a boat rescue? What do I do if something goes wrong? And yes, the two kite schools there have boats that operate from like, I don't know, eight or something in the morning until I think five or six at night. So if you have any issues during that time, they will probably come help you out free of charge. They're amazing people, super friendly. I really enjoyed hanging out with them. So what else can you do? Well, there are some fantastic local restaurants. 
world-class diving and snorkeling and there are some amazing people over there like really good vibes great community and a lot of dutch people and i gotta say i love dutch people they're just like the funnest people super friendly so it's really easy to get there you can fly from amsterdam if you're in europe or if you're in the us i think you could probably just take like two flights like one down to aruba and then one over to bonaire and guys i will definitely be going back to bonaire it was it was such a great time for coaching really enjoyable experience i just love my time out there and it is just did i tell you what it is so picturesque it's like stepping into a magazine so um yeah guys of course what are the prices like well i'd say it's like it's a little expensive but not totally crazy it's kind of like the same prices that you'd be paying if you're in holland i would say it's like 15 maybe up to 20 dollars for a burger and maybe about five dollars for a coffee and i think the accommodation is actually quite reasonable so guys i will definitely be going back so if you've enjoyed this episode please be sure to give it a thumbs up and most importantly please be sure to subscribe to help me grow my channel and reach more people thank you so much for watching muchos pesos adios